Welcome to our RNA virus discussion, guys. Simulan natin. So, I would give just an introduction for our virus. Okay, let's compare it to other microorganisms. So, compared to protozoa and fungi, guys, your bacteria and virus are prokaryotes. Hindi ba? Prokaryotes sila because they do not have a true nucleus. What does that mean? Meaning, their nucleus are not enclosed with a nuclear envelope, okay? Instead of a nucleus sa uh, virus, meron lang siyang either DNA or RNA and it's enclosed by a capsid. Yan, napakasimple lang ng virus. For bacteria, um, it's prokaryote. Your virus are smaller, way smaller than your bacteria, protozoa, and fungi. However, mas small pa ang prions, okay? Your prions are misfolded proteins, okay? They are proteins. They do not have genetic material, okay? Walang DNA or RNA po ang mga prions. And isn't it that in the first grading, we discussed that they are the most resistant to antimicrobial Agent, sobrang resistant nila. Um, it's so difficult to uh, kill them because they're proteins unless you're going to denature your proteins. And your prions, guys, in humans, it causes creutzfeldt jakob disease. It usually affects the brain. Kung familiar kayo sa mad cow disease, mad cow class, MAD, cow disease, it, it, ang prions ang nagkakos nun. So sa animals, it causes mad cow disease. Sa, cruz, uh, sa humans, it causes Kruzfeldt-Jakob disease. So, kaya mad cow, parang ano, there is a neurological disorder sa cow. So, parang nababaliw nga eh. So, yun rin ang impact sa humans. It affects the brain. Yeah, neurological uh, disorders. Tapos, it, ang tawag nga rin dyan, it's a spongy form encephalitis. Parang it makes your brain sponge-like. So your virus, either it could be envelope or naked. Yan. So when we say envelope, they are very susceptible to my antimicrobial agents. Hand washing lang, patay na ang envelope virus because their envelope contains lipids. Okay? The way of replication of virus are lytic or lytic or lysogenic cycle. Yan. I'll give an overview today. Malang mitochondria in ribosomes ang virus. Okay? So your protozoa, yung next topic natin, these are single-celled parasites. Yan. So they are eukaryotes. May DNA, RNA sila, and so on. So, binary fusion ang replication ng bacteria. <coughs> Yan. Sa fungi, di ba? Budding, pag-yeast, mitosis, pag-mold. Meron mga tayong asexual and sexual sa fungi, di ba? <coughs> so, this is the parts yan, of your virus. So, this is your DNA. Yan, your DNA are made, or DNA or RNA are made up of nucleic acids. And it's enclosed by a capsid. Ang simple-simple nyo lang. And either it has an envelope or walang envelope and it has spikes. Yan. So, isn't it that the spikes are used, these antigens are used in the creation of COVID-19 vaccine, yung spike protein. So, yeah, guys, we call this a virion. Yung entire viral particle, it's virus or virion. The capsid encloses your genetic material. So, instead of a nuclear membrane, capsid ang tawag dyan. So, capsomere makes up your capsid. The building block of capsid is capsomere. And nucleic acid plus capsid, we call this nucleocapsid. So, capsid plus the nucleic acid, nucleocapsid. Yan. And this is your envelope. So, this is a naked virus or nucleocapsid lang siya. Yan. Kasi walang envelope. Yan. So, guys, alam nyo ba na 
being naked is more advantageous, okay? They are most are resistant to soap, to, G, uh, to other antimicrobial agents, yan. and compared to unlike envelope, okay? So envelope, outer coating composed of a phospholipid layer, yan. so it's um, high hydrophobic. It is composed of viral encoded glycoproteins and viral encoded matrix proteins. It is derived from the host cell membrane. Yan. So they got the envelope, itong virus. So once it's coming out of the person's tayo, hum the human cell membrane, yan, lumalabas siya. So they have hostage a cell. Kasi virus guys acts like a parasite. Eh. They are inter they are intracellular organisms. Ibig sabihin, they could only live inside a host. They would die if they are outside a host, okay? So kumbaga in a hostage nila ang isang cell. Yan. So one, so it could use a, a cell to multiply inside it, okay? So pag lalabas na sila sa cell, yan, it could get the cell membrane of the human, the cells. Tapos yun yung mag a as an envelope. Galing. So, envelope and non-envelope virus. So, envelope virus, so they are not naked. Yan, may bilipid layer sila. So, what are your envelope virus? Your HIV, HSV, HBV, I don't know, influenza. They are less virulent yan, because they are uh, susceptible to antimicrobials, they are sensitive or susceptible to dryness, heat, and acid. Yan. Guys, they cannot survive the gastrointestinal tract. Yan. So, envelope, mas less virulent sila. Mas virulent ang mga non-envelope. They could survive the gastrointestinal tract. Why? Because they are resistant to the acidity of the stomach. Yan. So, once you swallow hepatitis B, they're dead. Yan. However, if you swallowed hepatitis A, HEV, yung mga fecal-oral virus natin, guys, it's, it will survive the stomach. Yung mga enterovirus, poliovirus, norovirus, parvovirus, they could survive the stomach. Okay? The acidity of the stomach. Ah, yun. It can infect the gastrointestinal tract. So, this is how your virus replicate. There is two parts, guys. Lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle. Okay? So, wag malilito. So, tingnan muna natin yung key features. So, this one is your bacteria. So, take note that your virus, guys, needs to be inside a uh, bacteria o kaya a cell, your liver cell, your, um, your muscle cell, your skin cell. Yan. It needs to enter it. Okay? So, your virus needs to enter it. So, in the lytic cycle, so, ang ginagawa, just an overview, the virus will inject its genetic material inside the host cell or the bacteria and it will um, allow the bacteria or the membrane to multiply inside it. Yan. So, para it will make it as a home where it would, would use the, the host cell or the bacteria to multiply. Gagamitin niya para maparami siya. So, gagamitin niya yung ribosome, yung rough endoplasmic reticulum, yung machinery sa loob ng cell or bacteria para rumami siya. We call it a lytic cycle because the virus could, could replicate in numerous numbers, in so many numbers, in such a way that the the cell will lies. Yan, puputok. Sa sobrang rami na puputok na yung, yung cell para tapos marirelease na yung virus. Ito, tapos itong mga virus mag-a-attach na naman sa panibagong host cell. Yan. So that's the lytic cycle wherein the, basically the virus will ambush or hostage uh, 
bacteria or a cell and will use it for its advantage to multiply itself. Okay. In the lysogenic cycle, what the bacteria will do, guys, it will inject its genetic material yan, and it will incorporate it inside in the genetic material of the bacteria or the cell. Yan. So, ayun na, incorporate na. So, while the bacteria or the host cell is multiplying, rumarami rin yung genetic material, no? Rumarami rin yung virus. Yung genetic material ng virus, rumarami rin siya. Yan. And it could lead to the lytic cycle. Okay? Parang ganun ba? So, lysogenic is, kumbaga, um, the amount of genetic material of virus is multiplied lang. In the lytic cycle, the cell lyses and will release the virus. Yan. So, ganun. So, here I have another image of the lytic cycle. So, there are five steps. There is the attachment. Yan. Bacteriophage is a type of virus. Okay, that attacks. Kaya ang virus na ito pahal, bacteriophage, because it attacks bacteria. So, first, it will attach to the, to the bacterial cell and it will penetrate, it will inject its genetic material inside the bacteria. And it will, the, the uh, virus will utilize the machinery inside the bacterial cell for it to multiply yan, until it matures. And once it matures and multiply, it will lyse the cell. Yan. So as you can see, I've, ang yung ibang term, ang tawag nila, budding. Yan. So they will, this bacteriophage could get the cell membrane para maging envelope. Envelope siya. Yan. So attachment, penetration, biosynthesis, maturation until it will lyse. Diba? Ang pagkatapos ka meeting, sisirain. No? virus. So, what's the difference, guys, between your DNA and RNA virus? Since your DNA is most commonly double-stranded, the genome size is bigger. Okay? So, mas common naman ang double-stranded DNA. At saka, in reality, ang DNA naman talaga double-stranded. Okay? Isa lang ang single-stranded DNA natin. That's parvo virus. Yan. Single-stranded RNA. The advantage of DNA viruses, they have lower rate of mutation. Unlike your RNA virus, they have higher rate of mutation. So, meaning among RNA virus, guys, mas common ang epidemic, pandemic. Just like your COVID-19, that's an RNA virus. Yung mga common colds natin, yung mga influenza virus natin, those are RNA virus. They tend to mutate. Kaya every year, hindi ba, Iba yung influenza virus, iba yung vaccine natin. Kailangan every year nagpapa-flu vaccine ka. Because every year there are mutations, there are changes in the RNA virus. Yan. They, are, they mutate, ha, uh, they, ha, they have a higher mutation rate, and they are prone to error and replication. Yan. So, error and prone to replication. Error prone replication. Yeah. So there, there are double stranded RNA virus and there are single stranded RNA virus. So itong DNA virus, uh, they inject their genetic material and it will go to the nucleus. The RNA virus, they would inject their genetic material and it will go to the ribosome. Kasi ano na siya, RNA na siya. No need to go to the nucleus anymore. So, just a review, guys, please ha, take note of your DNA viruses. So, your DNA could be double-stranded and single-stranded. Isa lang, parvovirus. At yung single-stranded natin, non-envelope pa siya. Okay? So, we have double-stranded. So, the envelope, we have pox, herpes, hepadna. Yeah. And your non-envelope, adeno and papilloma. So here in your RNA virus, so mostly are single-stranded. Yeah. Double-stranded RNA natin only is very, very, very 
in, and it's non-envelope. Tapos, guys, sa mga single-stranded RNA, we have positive strand and negative strand. So, when we say positive strand, guys, they are um, easily translated. Ibig sabihin, mas madali yung process. Na, 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 na rumarami sila, nagpaparami sila, it's creating proteins. For this negative stranded sing, uh, RNA, it needs to be converted to positive strand until it would replicate. Yan. So, negative strand siya. Kailangan sa katawan natin, pagkapasok nila, magiging positive strand muna siya so that it could replicate itself. Yan. So, medyo mas mahaba lang yung time na it will replicate itself, yung mga negative strand. So, notice itong mga negative strand natin, mostly they are in the envelope. So, they are more resistant to antimicrobial agents, disinfecting agents. Unlike your non-envelope, which are your picorna and kalichi. So, itong mga polio, hepatitis A, gastroenteritis, yan, di ba? They are, they are resistant to the acids of the stomach. Yan, yun yung advantage nila. So, survive sila in the stomach. Itong Rio Viridae, non-envelope rin, it will survive in the stomach. Unlike your envelope viruses. Yan. So, yan. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Yan. So this is the flow that we're going to follow. Okay? So let's discuss first paramyxo viridae. Yan. So these are the main diseases that are caused by your paramyxo virus or paramyxo viridae family. We have parainfluenza. We have four types of parainfluenza. So the common one, the com the most common one that it causes is croup. Yan. So when the cough is hoarse, yan, it's croup. We have mumps, yan, caused by mixo, para, meaning para influenza, mixo, mixovirus. It causes mumps, so inflammation of the parotid gland. So it could complicate to arthritis. Kung, um, is if an adult male will have mumps. So ang mumps, guys, ano itong childhood disease? So, pag ang lalaking matanda na nagkaroon ng mumps, they are prone to arthritis, inflammation of the testicles. We have measles or rubiola. So, binabantay itong rubiola. This is airborne, just like your mumps. It's also airborne. And one of the common pathognomonic symptoms of your measles or rubiola is complex spots. Yan. Parang bang may sandpaper, sandpaper texture at, at the back of the mouth, on the oral mucosa. Uh, vesicles with white center, ang complex spots. So, dapat guys, pag narinig nyo na yung complex spots, first thing na pupunta sa inyo is measles, okay? So, your measles, your moms, guys, are vaccine prevente, preventable because you're, you're binabantayan ng measles because it could cause death. And we have RSV, respiratory, respiratory syncytial virus, causes respiratory and ear infection among newborns and children. Yeah. So, para mix of every day, apat na sakit ang aalalahanin ninyo. Okay? Croup, mumps, measles, and RSV. So, this is your parotid gland. Yan. So, once it intense, it looks like this. Yan. For me, guys, I never have I never had mumps. Yan. So, this is your measles. Hindi halata yung white, cent white center spot. Sa yan. So, malalaman mong measles kung mayroon ng uh, vesicles with white spots sa oral mucosa. So, guys, your MMR. Your measles, mumps, and rubella, so tigdas beke <laughs> at German measles, it is injected after nine months to one year. So this is the time where we give the vaccine. The first vaccine that we give to the baby is for BCG, tuberculosis, tuberculosis for childhood tuberculosis, and hepatitis B. So these are the first vaccines that we give to the baby, okay? After that, we give them for diphtheria, tetano, hepatitis B, 
pertussis pulmonia and meningitis. Then the polio vaccine, either oral polio or oral polio at one and one half. After three months will be the inactivated polio. And the, the for pneumonia and meningitis also one and one half. So we have a certain schedule for the vaccination of babies. Next, guys, yan, it's orthomic severity. Napakalaga nitong orthomic severity because uh, influenza A, itong mga to, influenza A itong mga to. So influenza A under orthomic severity is very common in causing pandemics and epidemics. Yan. So notice, ito ang isang orthomic severity structure. It has hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, yan, H and N. So notice, merong H1, N1, H2, N2, H5, N1, H7, N9. So the H is the hemagglutinin, the N is the neuraminidase. So guys, this orthomix every day is very prone to mutation. Yan. It's mutation, we call it antigenic drift or antigenic shift. Yan. So there are shifting in its antigens. Yan. It changes so much. Nag nagiging nakakahawa siya. Example, uh, the two last severe pandemic that we experienced, the swine flu in 2009, yan. and the Spanish flu in 1918 and 1920, wherein millions have died. Ito, I think, mga 200,000 to 300,000 died, died, which is caused by H1N1. Yan. So, the swine flu, ang importante dito, guys, ang pangalan niya swine flu. So, it's common among, among pigs. However, due to its antigenic shift, it could now affect humans. Yan. Sa mga changes na nagpa, nagiging Spanish flu siya, nagiging ano siya, pandemic siya. We have H2N2, Hong Kong flu. So it has caused an outbreak in Hong Kong. H5N1, avian or bird flu. And H5N1 and H7N9, guys, are avian flu. So ang pangalan nga nila, avian, so it should be in birds. Pero nga, since the changes are happening in their mutation, it could now affect people. Okay? So all of these are actually influenza A. Yan, under orthomix so peridy. Influenza B and C usually are in animals. So binabanda yung itong mga itong influenza na to because it could cross over to humans. Next is Corona Veridae. So, there are many types of Corona Veridae. So, yung sa virus under Corona Veridae. Yung una nating na experience na SARS-CoV in Hong Kong in 2003. SARS means Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus. So, it was in Hong Kong at buto, buti hindi nag-spread outside Hong Kong. Now, ito, it was a pandemic, itong SARS-CoV-2. Take note, guys, coronavirus they are enveloped, enveloped virus. So, they are susceptible to hand washing, sterilization. Yan. However, ayun, we did not expect it, kaya madaling nakahawa. But typically, guys, your coronavirus causes common colds. Yan. Pero mas common ang rhinovirus, okay? But your coronavirus, in a typical situation, it also uh, causes common colds. And this one as well, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome-related coronavirus, MERS-CoV. Marami rin Pilipino na apektuhan ng mga taga Middle East. We have this, yeah, medyo non-show this. We have lymphocytic arena veridae, which causes lymphocytic choreo meningitis, and Lassa fever virus. So this one, lymphocytic, so it affects the lymphocytes, choreo meningitis, so mga uh, central nervous system. Yan. So meningitis, inflammation of the meninges, encephalitis, in, uh, in, inflammation of the brain, meningoencephalitis, both. 
So the primary host is a mouse. That's why it's a rodent born. Yan. So when we are exposed to the urine, droppings and saliva of rodents, doon nakukuha itong arena virus na to. Yan. So it could result to hemorrhagic necrosis. Yan. Nagbibleed na nga, nabubulok pa ang kidney, liver, hearts, and other organs. It could be passed through the, through the placenta. Ayan. Reported in Australia, America, and Japan. Ito guys, last of fever virus, acute viral hemorrhagic illness. So, uh, febrile hemorrhagia. Ayan. Itong mga hemorrhagic, usually there is bruising, there is bleeding, internal bleeding, like your dengue. Yan, it's a dengue hemorrhagic fever. Expect bleeding in, inside. Mga Ebola, hemorrhagic rin yun. So expect fever, tapos bleeding. Pag mga narinig mo na yung viral hemorrhagic na yan. Next guys, rhabdoviridae or which causes rabies. Unique tong rabies virus kasi it's bullet shape. Yan. So, mode of transmission from animal bites. What types of animals? Cat, dog, raccoon, bats, yan. rats as well. Para bats, yan. common and dog. Cat, hindi masyado eh. Raccoon, wala kasing raccoon dito sa Pilipinas. So, uh, rabies, so once you're beaten, wash it with soap. Yan. So, ask if the dog is vaccinated with anti-rabies. Kung vaccinated naman siya with anti-rabies, you don't have to worry, okay? If it's not vaccinated with anti-rabies, yan. So, go to the hospital. However, pag usually nakahagata rin ng aso, nagpapatusok rin ng anti-tetanus vaccine. Yan. So, ang rabies, guys, it's very deadly because it will affect your nervous system. It could produce convulsions, coma, and encephalitis. And one of its pathognomonic is hydrophobia. When the dog is feeding water, when the human is starting to feeding wa water, na natakot na sa tubig, yan, it could be a symptom of rabies. Yan. And ito guys, sa autopsy ng animal, usually ginagawa rin to, you could find negri bodies. Yan. Inside the negri bodies ng, neuro, ng nerve cells, uh, andito yung mga rabies virus. Yan. Rhabdoviridae. We have phyloviridae. Hemora it causes hemorrhagic fever by Ebola virus and Marburg. So guys, itong Ebola and Marburg, binabayan, binabantayan to ha. Biosafety level 4 precaution ang ginagawa dito. Meaning you could not just handle it, experiment on it because it causes high fatality rate. You have nine, you could have 90% chance of survival. Ah, you could have 90% chance of dying. Yan, mataas. Kung hindi na agapan ang Ebola virus. Yan, you could have it for direct contact. So back then, in 2014 to 2015, there was a outbreak of Ebola virus. I think this is one of my favorite virus, guys, and most interesting virus. It, it's not my favorite because it has killed so many people, but it's very interesting, okay? So back then... Um, in West Africa, in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone, 11,000 were dead. Okay? So maraming factors, guys, ang rason kung bakit ang bilis uh, nakahawa, ang raming namatay sa Ebola. Buti nga hindi masyadong kumalat. Because also of their traditional funeral practice, uh, a person who died from Ebola, they should be burned, okay? Dapat wala ka ng direct contact sa mga namatay ng Ebola. But since their traditional practice is they get in contact with the dead, yan, they do not protect themselves when they take, take care of their loved ones, the healthcare worker has no PPE, those increases the chances of Ebola being spread, okay? So, sabi nila, Pero hindi pa sure na ang Ebola, common yan sa mga animals, in primates, in bats, in chimpanzees. And it has crossover to humans. 
sabi nila, through hunting, through eating the meat of animals, yun daw ang mga reasons kung bakit ayun, pumating siya ng monkey, kung bakit may Ebola. So, kailangan educate the people, ganyan. Tapos, huwag pasaway. Next, Bunya Viride. So, ma- majority of the Bunya Viride, they are vector-born. Transmitted by mosquito, stick, and sunfly, except your Hanta virus. Yan. So, they are your Hanta virus is from the excreta of, of rats. Yan. So, aerosolized excreta pag na-inhale mo yung stool ng rats. So, itong guys, itong Bunya Viride, sa Pilipinas hindi common to. Pero, binabantayan to, okay, ng mga WHO natin. Yeah. Because, it has high fatality rate. Dapat biosafety level 4. Meaning, our ordinary laboratory in the UB, in UB could not handle these types of virus. It needs really, kung napapanood nyo talaga yung mga airlocked na, na laboratory, yung talagang mukha na silang astronaut, ganyan, na talagang airtight, tapos bago ka lumabas sa laboratory, kailangan mo mag-shower. Yan. So, they are, binabantayan nila, they are watching out for this virus because they could emerge, they have the opportunity to kill more people. Okay? So, we have Crimean hemorrhagic fever, orthonyro virus, we have California encephalitis virus, lacrosse encephalitis, Jamestown Canyon virus, no sugar virus, Hanta virus, and Rift Valley fever. Okay, so binamandayan to kasi guys, parang mga Ebola, they could spread, okay? And they have high chances of killing people. And here, ito, isa na tong ano ni, eh, hyper endemic na to, guys. Talagang present na to, especially in Baguio City. Lots of people have HIV, guys. So, your HIV is from the family retrovirus or retroviridae. So, retrovirus, guys, retroviridae, hindi dahil old school sila, okay? Hindi dahil old school. But they have the capacity since they are an RNA, they could revert back to being DNA, okay? So, mode of transmission, sexual contact, blood transfusion, Needle sharing, transplant, transplacental from mommy to baby and and breastfeeding. However, guys, pwede nang hindi mahawa ang baby, okay? Because we have antiretroviral therapy. Okay? May libre, guys, magpagamot ng HIV, okay? So, these are, ito yung mga proteins, P24, GP120, and I just want to show it. So, these proteins are detected, guys, for the diagnosis of HIV. So, kung may P24 ka antigen, most probably you are positive with HIV. Okay? And we are we have also enzymes. So, ang enzymes ng HIV reverse transcriptase yan. So, it make it possible, it makes the it makes it possible that the RNA virus could be converted to becoming DNA. Therefore, it could integrate in the DNA, in the DNA, in the nucleus of the person, okay, sa genetic material ng tao. So, glass, ma'am, anong cell ang target ng, ng, ng HIV? T helper cells or CD4 cells. So guys, binabantayan natin yung CD4 cells or T helper cells ng mga may taong HIV, okay? So if it rapidly decreases, it could be a sign of AIDS. So we have hindi ko na tapos to, ah, three stages of HIV. So from the primary, flu-like hanggang maging AIDS na. Okay? So in the primary stage, it could be asymptomatic. There's only flu-like symptoms. So parang so masakit lang ulo, ganyan, sinisipon-sipon. But it happens for a very long time, okay? Then, the intermediate phase, lymphadenopathy, yan, sa lymph nodes, swelling already, fever, weight loss, diarrhea, fatigue, cannot sleep, night sweats, 
and the CD4 cells or the T helper cells will decrease up to 400 millimeters, okay? So, your CD4 and CD8, so yung T helper cells mo and T cytotoxic cells, the ratio is less than 1. Bumaba ba yung amount of CD4 cells mo, okay? So, next guys, so from 400, bumagsak ng 200 yung mga T helper cells niya. So, that's a sign of AIDS. And you are now more prone to opportunistic AIDS infection like pneumocystis, Jirovechi, naalala nyo itong fungal, fungal pneumonia, candidiasis, cytomegalovirus, herpes, mycotibi, kapusi sarcoma, the purple lesions on the skin, on the mouth, and hairy leukoplakia. So mukhang mabuhok yung tang. Next guys, Riaviridae, so this is your double-stranded RNA, di ba? An, an, an envelope to, non-envelope to. So, your rotavirus is under your rheovirus, okay? So, it's contagious. So, it's an envelope. So, it causes gastroenteritis among babies. Yan. So, common ang rotavirus among babies, okay? Infants and young children between 6 to 24 months. So, guys, usually, uh, yung mga babies na biglang nagtatae, you don't know the cause. Perhaps, it's rota virus okay sabi nga it's still a significant cause of death 2 million people are hospitalized annually because of of the rotavirus yan kasi perhaps uh, yun nga watery diarrhea so nagiging dehydrated na yung baby so the transmission is fecal oral yan fecal oral so kailangan mag hand wash yung mga bata yan so, your rotavirus resides, its habitat is in the small intestine. There is vaccination by mouth. Yan. Severe dehydration ang complication niya. Okay, 2 million has been hospitalized annually. 453,000 deaths in children under 5. 60,000 children hospitalized annually in U.S. prior to vaccine. Yan. So, at least rotavirus is vaccine preventable. So, next, guys, picornaviridae. So, picornaviridae, these are unenveloped. So, kasi nga enterovirus, eh. pag nabasa na enterovirus, it could survive the stomach, the gastrointestinal tract. Hepatitis A, it could survive the gastrointestinal tract, okay? Rhinovirus, it causes common cold, okay? So, your poliovirus, its complication is paralysis or paralytic polio or meningitis. So, binabantayan to sa mga bata, kaya may vaccine, dalawa mga o. Oh, oral polio vaccine and inactivated polio vaccine. So, our inactivated polio vaccine, guys, is also called a SALK vaccine. Yan. The attenuated, pag sinabing attenuated weekend, is called Sabin vaccine. So, pag SALK and Sabin, it's pointing to polio virus. Okay? So, the route is fecal oral. Okay? So, food contaminated with stool that has polio virus. Yan. So, binabanda yan to kasi it has severe complication, di ba? Difficulty in walking. Kawawa naman yung mga bata yun. Ang sad nga eh, kasi may mga nakikita pa akong adults who were affected with polio. So, another type of virus under Picornaviridae is Coxsackie. So, we have Coxsackie A, which causes hand, foot, and mouth disease. Ito yan. Yan. So, Parang ano, herpes simplex. So, kayo malilito ako. Ah, pero kasama yung paa, yung kamay. Okay, race spots. There is also sore throat fever, loss of appetite, and mouth ulcer. So, guys, before the pandemic, yan, nagkaroon ng outbreak actually sa UB ng Coxsackie A virus. Yan. So, yung mga bata, biglang nagkaka-Coxsackie. Ako naman, kalakro ko yung mga bata. So, nagkakoksake rin ang teacher nyo. So, I was so, I was weirded out kasi wala akong ganyan. Walang, walang nakikitang spots 
sa sa bibig ko, walang ganyang red spot sa kamay sa paa. However, guys, ang symptoms sa akin, sobrang raming singaw, sobrang raming mouth ulcers. The most that I could remember that I counted is 12. So, yun, I asked my So it was a it was a red flag. I asked my friend, friend, I am I immunocompromised? Suddenly I have 12 singaw. Imagine yung sobrang sakit noon. Tapos yun, sabi niya, I think that's uh, hand, foot, and mouth disease. Yan, that's Oksaki A. So, wow. ayun. Nagkakasaki ang teacher niya. So, there was a Oksaki outbreak in UD. Yung mga bata. Nangawa ko sa mga bata. So, next guys, rhinovirus. So, it causes common colds. Yan. So, there's no vaccine with common colds. However, um, yun, it ko, yun, caused by rhinovirus. So, no vaccine for rhinovirus, but we have vaccine for influenza A virus. That's why yung mga seasonal flu, yan, influenza A yan, every year, kailangan may flu vaccine. So, guys, please magpag-flu vaccine kayo, okay? So, your cold versus flu. So, yung cold mo has has symptoms of fatigue, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, and cough. Gradual daw ang onset. Mas immediate onset ang influenza virus. Okay? So, yung flu, yung cold symptoms mo plus fever, aches, chill. So, mas malala ang mga flu. Okay? The coronavirus. So, we have hepatitis. A, um, so, enterovirus yan ha. Fecal oral. Yan. It's acute and self-limiting. Yan. It will not progress to chronic state. Pati ang hepatitis E. So, dalawa ang, ang enterovirus dito. They, these two could survive in the gastrointestinal trunk. So, HIV is also called as uh, infectious hepatitis. Pag sabi natin self-limiting, hindi lumalala. So, 3 days, 5 days, you all, wala ka ng hepatitis A. So, we have Pakotoga very day. So, under Toga very day, we have rubella virus, which causes German measles, and western, and eastern, and Venezuelan equine encephalitis. So, equine horse. So, ang focus lang natin, rubella. So, binamantayan ang rubella because it could cause congenital defects sa baby. It could affect the eye, the heart, the ears, hearing rin. Yan. So, kung ang measles, guys, It has complex spots. So, German measles, it causes for shimer spots. Okay. So, it could cause hearing defects, eye defects, and heart defects to the newborn baby. So, binabantayan to sa mga pregnant women. It could also cause miscarriage, premature de- delivery, and birth defects. So, it's But you could be protected with the vaccination against German measles. Ayan. Sabi nila, 9 out of 10 women infected with rubella could pass the virus to their fetuses. Kasi kawawa naman, di ba? So we have to protect the women from German measles. So rubella, MMR. Yan, MMR vaccine, magkakasama. After nine months, tinutusok. Flaviviridae, guys. So, ang, mostly of the flaviviridae, guys, they are carried by mosquito. So, ito, dengue fever is caused by flaviviridae. Hindi ko lang dengue fever ito. So, um, ang other name ng dengue fever, guys, is breakbone break bone disease because it really hurts in the bones magkaroon ng dengue tapos you are positive with capillary fragility test yan so ibig sabihin your capillaries ang bilis niya magbreak makakita ka ng mga spot spot sa arms sa arms mo ganyan because your capillaries are breaking ayun Toga Veride, 
would cause chikungunya kasi parang magkahawig yung yung manifestation ng chikungunya at dengue virus. However, there's no decrease in platelet in chikungunya. Your yellow fever is a flabby very day. It's yellow fever because it could cause jaundice. Maninilaw ka. We have West Nile fever. It's common in New York and in in the US. And so the primary host niya dati galing ang West Nile fever sa mga birds. Pero itong mga mosquito, kinagat-kagat yung mga birds. So itong mga mosquito, kagatin yung human, makakaroon na ng West Nile virus. Guys, guys your Zika is also a flabby very day. It could cause microcephaly among babies. So, maliit ang ulo ng mga baby o yung mga moms nila na infection ng Zika virus. So, back then, there was an outbreak in um, Argentina, Brazil. Alam ko, mabot ng Singapore. Yan. So, microcephaly ang impact ng Zika virus. And malaria, so this is a parasitic infection yan, caused by plasmodium. Okay. So, flavivir, uh, kalitchi na pala tayo next. Yan, ito orange. So, kalitchi very day, under it is hepatitis E virus. So, acute self-limiting fulminant liver failure in pregnant woman. Yan lang mas patindi ang hepatitis E. Yan. So, other than hepatitis E, we have Norwalk and Sapporo. So, Norwalk is in Norwalk, Ohio. Sapporo is in Sapporo, Japan. Yeah. Doon yung nakikita yung mga outbreak. Norwalk is, was, is also named as winter vomiting bug. So, this usually happens in the winter. It's common in the U.S. So, pag sinabi nilang, May, I have a stomach flu. Yeah. Norwalk virus yun. In Sapporo virus, is um, fecal oral lahat to, hepatitis norwalk sa poro, common in nurseries, daycares, long-term healthcare facilities. Tapos na tayo, guys. So, this end our RNA and DNA viruses. Study well. I'll see you again. Bye, guys.